Hi everyone, how about uh, for Halloween theme we compose a spooky um, melody using Apple GarageBand. This is a free app that you can download from the Apple Store. Um, one of the wonderful things that we can work with our student is creativity. It unleashes uh, the wonderful things that our students can do of all abilities, whether giving them options to explore instruments, changing patterns, improvisation, and so on. And with the um, features of GarageBand and its user-friendly options, and it's such a wonderful adaptive tool uh, to be used for such a theme. Let's have a look. So today we're going to work on um, introducing improvisation or composing simple tunes for Halloween using GarageBand. So if we open GarageBand, which is this icon, the guitar picture with orange and yellow background, if we click on that, we need to create a new song. So if you press on the plus sign, you start a new song. Now there is tracks and live loops. Um, so we, we're going to use tracks because uh, and keyboard specifically because you will get a lot of options. So I'm going to click on Smart Piano. Now with Smart Piano, you have different options. There are chords, of course. You can change those chords, and I'm going to show you this in a minute. But what I wanted to show you first is that you can go to this bar to get the keys for the key keyboard. Okay, once you have that, uh, let's say you introduce the chromatic scale <clears throat> uh, because it makes a creepy and scoopy, spooky sound. So um, you can try and play it. But what would be really fun is that if you can change the sound by clicking on the picture of the instrument. Okay, and then there is Alchemy Smith. Or synth, or you can like go and scroll down and try and experiment. This is a fantastic way uh, to give students um, freedom in composing and improvising, picking their own instruments, and see what they really want for their Halloween theme. But um, I'm just going to share with you a few things. Um, for example, Alchemy synth, there are so many nice sounds like. Bell Echo. Fluid Motion. Now they can, of course, as I said, like they can experiment, they can try their chromatic scale from any note um, and experiment with that, make a pattern going up, going down. There's so many things that they could do. And then if they like, let's say this sound, they press done. And then um, they need to record, press the red button to record. Now I would always turn off the metronome by clicking on it. So if it's blue, you turn it off, it becomes white. Otherwise, when you record your song, the metronome clicking will be in the recording. So let's say I'm going to start recording just for fun. And we stop. Now to check our recording, we can go to the layers here so we can see how it looks like, how it sounds like. It's so nice here visually to show the students how the notes, they're going up, they go down, they go up, they go down. And he's scrolling up one octave, then we go down. It's really nice. And then they can add more layers by going either to the plus sign and add more uh, notes, or they can add drums for percussion. Um, they can do so many things. Now, what I wanted to show you is that you can... Go back here and go to Smart Piano again. Just wanted to show you with the chords. Let's say you just want to work with chords. Um, you can again change the instrument that you want. Let's say we want organ this time. 
care and then um, or the vibraphone that would be nice oh nice okay so we could do that um, if you want to change to more dramatic chords, you could do that. But uh, let's have a listen. And of course, you can change like the effect. So if you click on this one over here and you click on run, you activate it. You can try this. So more dark chords. If you want to change the chords, you need to go to settings. And then with edit chords, when you click on that, then you can change. So it needs to be highlighted. So this chord will change basically. Then you can choose if you want C minor, you change to minor. And then when you're done, you press done and you change your chords. You can add, delete, change whatever chords you want in order to make your composition. Uh, so, I, I mean, this could be such a nice way to reinforce the concept of teaching chromatic scale, of exploring sounds to make a Halloween theme. The students can make their own projects and um, really enjoy um, creating their own creative uh, Halloween tune. So I hope you find this helpful. And happy teaching!